This video is going to have a look at water solutes. By looking at this, you're going to learn what soft water and hard water is, and you're going to be able to calculate the concentrations in grams per decimeter cubed. In the exam, you will be expected to be able to figure out the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed. So you might get a question similar to this, saying 1 decimeter cubed of water contains 0.5 grams of salt. Work out the concentration. Now to do that, you use this equation. So to work out the concentration, you cover that up, and it tells you it's the mass of solute divided by the volume of solution. So the mass, in this case, is 0.5 divided by the volume, which has got to be in decimeter cubed, which is 1, which gives you 0.5 grams per decimeter cubed. Notice, writing g dm minus 3 is exactly the same as writing g divided by dm3. Both of them are exactly the same. So I'll give you another example now. So here it says 0.4 grams of calcium ions dissolve into two decimeter cubes of water. So again, concentration is mass divided by volume. So it's 0.4 divided by 2. which is 0.2 grams per decimeter cubed. Same again here, 0.25 grams of X dissolving 5 decimeter cubed of Y. So it's 0.25 divided by 5, which gives you 0.05 grams per decimeter cubed. The only slightly tricky bit about this is sometimes it won't give you it in decimeter cubed, sometimes you'll have to convert it. So here, it says we've got a 500 centimeter bottle contains 0.2 grams of magnesium ions dissolved. So normally you would write 0.2 divided by the volume. But this volume has got to be put into decimeter cubed. So that is 500 divided by 1,000. So you divide by 1,000 if it's in centimeters cubed to get it into decimeters cubed. So that will give you 0.2 divided by 0.5 which gives you 0.4 grams per decimeter cubed. Again, any issues on that, come and see me. The next part of the video is going to have a look at soft and hard water. The first thing you need to know is what soft water is. Soft water is what usually comes out of our taps, and it's something that will always form a lather with soap. Hard water, however, is slightly different. When the water goes through rocks and into our water supply, it can sometimes collect compounds such as minerals containing calcium and magnesium ions. These ions make the water hard. The major issue with hard water, though, is when you try to wash up. So normally, when you put in washing up liquid into water, it'll form a lather and you'll be able to wash your dishes. However, with hard water, that doesn't happen. It's because the calcium ions and the magnesium ions in the water combine with the soap to make an insoluble precipitate, and that forms a bit of a scum on the surface of the water. This means you have to get rid of all the calcium and magnesium ions by adding more and more washing up liquid before a lather will start to form. Therefore, the harder the water, the more washing up liquid is needed before the lather will form. You will have seen during the lesson, using the practical, that increasing the amount of uh, hardness of the water will affect the amount of time it takes for a lather to form. What you will be expected to do in the exam is explain why that is a, an issue.